my name is Gaurav Jada. I'm a mechanical engineering graduate and a passionate mechanical engineer who likes to work with mechanical systems, mechanical design and analysis. In my past work experience, I used to work as a CAD engineer in an engineering firm. And basically, I like to explore more things about mechanical domain, like working on different concepts, different products, design ideas. I have to learn new things frequently so that I can stay updated with the industry standards. And this is what I most like about. So basically, I used to work two years back in an engineering firm, uh, which was like I was working as a CAD engineer over there. And mostly my work related to there was like develop, we can modify the re-existing designs, not that much deep into a core engineering part, you can say. That's why uh, the reason why I, had, I had chose to skilling to get myself a little bit upgrade on the industry standards to do having a basic knowledge about the product design, trying to implement it in a real world. That's what I was looking for. So the only reason why I joined Skilllink for that and surely it has been very great for that because I have learned a lot of things over there. Be it like starting from the SOLIDWORKS course that I began in my design masters. I was able to get like a good hands on 3D modeling, uh, a way different approach than I previously had. Was able to learn like industrial and can say like a product design sketching in a very good way. And sometimes I do go back to the videos to refer to that and have some inspiration or have some refreshment of that so that I can implement in my current work. Yeah, so talking about my current work, yeah, it's very different than that of the previous place that I used to work over there. It is like a completely a new way of working because it is like a, developing a product from scratch, right? Previous work, I used to have some prefetch data with me, but project that I'm currently working on is like a development project. It like It is like a developing a concept from scratch, implementing it, testing it, so that I can get a various uh, experience of various domain. So I mostly work, sometimes I'm working on like de developing some design ideas. Some, sometimes I spend on like sketching the product ideas that I have, sometimes like researching on some mechanisms or the materials that I need to use. Sometimes I will be like, uh, you can say the simula learning about some simulation tools so that I can implement in my current work. Yeah, so you can call it as a completely like a R and D type of work that I'm currently doing right now. Regarding the course, uh, it was really very really great because I was exposed to like a little bit of 3D modeling and some basic concept of it. But after enrolling to Skillings Design Master course, you can say that I have excelled a lot because I have learned a lot in a very less period of time, you can say. Like be it like 3D modeling, be it like the plastic design course, which is actually very industrial standard level. Like you can have a good grasp of the entire domain in a very short period and a very sophisticated manner. You can work on different materials around, you have a different knowledge of, again, the instructor also gives a various, uh, like a brief idea about the uh, scope of the industry. You get to know like different kind of domains in that itself. Basically, the instructor is very helpful in uh, making you understand the course very easy. Back in 2018, I think, I saw a video uh, regarding the CFD simulations. Uh, so that's what I came to know about Killlink, right? So basically, I enrolled for a basic CFD course like OpenFoam and MATLAB to have some basic experience about basic knowledge about CFD simulations and how CFD simulation works. So that I came to know, that is how I came to know about Killlink. And so far, I liked the course very much and I did it uh, very in a great good way. And after that, I was carrying on with my work and other things. Uh, and then suddenly, uh, Xkilling introduced his master course, same the current field which I was working in. So I just went through the course and I felt like, yeah, this is something I need to do so that I can upskill myself and keep myself to like industrial standards. So that is how I got to know about Xkilling and I, this is how I enrolled in it. Regarding the work, the current work experience I am having, at least I'm where I'm working and the projects that are work are there that I work on skilling, you can have some kind of similarity there, right? The projects in the skilling are like you can call as a part of a big project. Uh, the, the small project that you do in skilling are basically a part of big project that, that are going on in a very R&D organization or a company, you can call it. So basically, when you're working on a project, you're actually working on uh, industrial level things on a small level. So you don't feel like uh, like doing, you feel like doing something challenging, but at a small level, and that will surely 
help you to excel when you work on a industrial level so that is very great for that because i didn't feel any much stressed out while working on on the new products in my current workplace so it was very great experience i got to learn many things during the projects and the projects covered almost everything at a very small level and that can expand to very big level what i can say is projects are really very good to learn, like basically learn the concept understanding the working methodology for doing the project you research some of the things around come up with if you don't like you feel stuck up somewhere yeah you just call up the support engineer and he just really helps you try to understand make you understand things it's great First, I would like to take up to the interview experience uh, that the Skilling development team, like you can say, the customer success team had with me, like the Robin, who was my instructor, who was my guide for the preparing the interviews. Uh, he had helped me a lot while preparing the mock-up interviews over there. Like there were at least three interviews for me, and told me like how to you can how to react. how to answer the question in a good way give me inputs on each of my sessions that uh, these things you need to do this thing you should avoid that how you should present yourself in a good way basically robin has helped me a lot in interview process for the mock up mock interview during this interview process i didn't feel like very much you can say stressed out or not uncomfortable because the already the things that uh, are required for the interview to have a good interview or to clear the interview are almost covered in a, covered up in the mock interviews so while giving the interview you are like very confident and don't feel any way stressed out and talking about the interview that i had yeah yeah it was like a combination of a both technical and technical and both in the general aspect like a hr interview where you where the people ask you what your goals are what you want to do uh, you can stay a combination of both of these one thing i can say is uh, while working on the plastic design course uh, i had gained a lot of like industrial level knowledge so basically during my interview the interviewer asked me about something like the plastic design how are the methodologies or something like that i was able to answer it in a good way because i think the course that provide the course provided actually helped me a lot to learn and to explore on myself also on my side also so their skill link has helped me a lot in clearing the interviews because the knowledge that i got from the plastic design course are very specific to the industrial level so that i didn't face any difficulty why but it was a little bit challenging to explain it to the interviewer yeah but uh, i tried tried my best to explain him and he got a convincing answer from me surely in the basically in the college they like mostly focus on academics like learning the theory and mostly theoretical part of it and the most the practical part of the application was a little bit missing in the college life but uh, in skilling uh, you get both of the amalgamation of both of these like you also learn the theoretical part and also have a focus on the application part of it so you basically are you are learning a complete thing around your here in a both good way you are good at the theory which is required and you also know the practical application of that or don't feel like i don't know something or something like that so you can get like a complete knowledge and do great first uh, advice i would like to give is if you want to like have a career in design and looking for some opportunities so that you can learn something about it i think i can recommend skilling for sure because on my experience the courses are very industry standard level and you will you will learn a lot of things in a very short period of time and you will be able to excel very great in a great way because the knowledge that you get through the courses is very great first of all and there are very various projects that you can test you can do to test out the knowledge that you have gained and if you are stuck up somewhere you will always have a support engineer to help you out and figure it the way you should approach the things or things that you are not able to understand he will help you make understand if you want something like a complete course that will guide you through both the theoretical and application part i think the skilling is the best so i would like to talk about the tech support team uh, tech support team has helped me a lot during my the courses that i have did right uh, sometimes i have stuck up in the challenge i was not able to understand some concepts so i just called them and just just really help me out in a very quick way and tell me where i was going wrong where i need to improve what are the things that i need to look to do it in a better way customer support team basically helped me understand practical applications where i was lagging and helped me to develop a approach to solve that problem and the instructor itself uh, you can have also have support sessions so that direct with the instructor so that if you feel sometimes stuck up or find 
find something thing missing you can just directly ask with him get it resolved not it need not to be anything related to course or in general if you have something the domain related doubts you can surely have a call with him and he will happily explain you about the procedures that are done in industry for solving a particular problem the standards that are used he'll happily do that for you and regarding the customer success team yeah, yeah. I owe big to customer success team because they have really helped me yeah, to face the interview process. So the three mock interviews that I had actually really helped me to groom myself to prepare for the real world interviews. And the customer success team was like you know actually in contact with me. Like uh, they used to rate me for what how I have performed in the interview, and they also helped me to self analyze, analyze myself so that I can improve myself on the next mock interview. And this way, and this way, I just got better with each interviews. And at the end of in, at the end of interviews. So they said that just yeah you are good to go now uh, you, i think you have almost everything required that you can crack a in industrial level interview very thankful to customer success student success team for that